You ready? Yeah. Okay. Woo! You good? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's go! Hi, I'm Morgan Bowling. And I'm Thomas Shred, and I'm very excited to be here. Yeah, we're talking tequila and cookies. That's so right. So okay. today I'm going to show you how to make some ribeyes with okay. the tequila pan sauce. Amazing. Um, so these are one pound ribeyes I've cut in half. I'm gonna have you pat them okay. dry first, yep. and then season them with some salt and pepper. Do we have a like a paper? Oh, oh, right, right here, there. right there. Right there. So sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, it's like you're looking, fine. Like in my kit, whatever. Here we go. No, I know what you mean. Patting I know them what you mean. dry. So, are you cooking ribeyes much at home? I do. I cook a lot of ribeyes. Mm -hmm. I love. Uh, you were talking about doing reverse sear today. Yep. Which is what I normally do at home, but I do it kind of on the smoker, and we're doing it in the oven today. So, how heavy do you like to go on the salt? I like to go aggressive. Okay, and me don't too. be shy with Just the salt. Just making sure I didn't want to like offend anyone with how much salt you will never today. offend me with the amount of salt you put on food. Okay, good. <laughs> like on my team, we talk about going to the flavor cliff, and you take it all the way to the cliff. Yeah. And sometimes you jump over, but how's my sprinkling <laughs> technique? Right you're here. sprinkling. You got to go from high, so you want to go like. Oh, we're you know, going from high. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Get a little. See, you learned something new. Yeah, that just actually helps you get more even coverage. Yeah. If you do it close, you get little pockets. Gosh, which this is, even just this is life-changing for me. Thank you for oh, that. Well, good. I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Okay, so like you said, we're doing the reverse sear today. So this is a really nice method for cooking really good steaks. Um, it gets them really tender throughout because we're going to cook them low and slow first and then just sear them at the end. Boom. So I'll only now get we'll the flip. other sides. Okay. Boom, now we'll get some pepper on the sides. Perfect. There was a lot of pepper right there. Yeah, that's okay. That's, <laughs> that's okay. That's my bite. That's fine. That's All your right. bite. <laughs> so we're going to pop this in a low 275 degree okay. oven at the middle rack. I'm going to cook it until it's about 90 degrees inside. 90, um, huh? Yeah, it's going to okay. be low. Right. Yeah, it's going to be low. And then um, it'll take about 25 minutes. Perfect. Cool. Let's pop it in. Okay. All right, so we have some already ready. Okay. And I'm going to pull these out. Oh, yeah. I know, they don't look really that pretty yet, but they'll look great later. They're about to be, though. They're about to be, exactly. So, I'm gonna double check this. Yeah, so it's 95, which is 95. great. That's still okay. fine. That's still good. Okay, so we're actively smoking. Okay. So. So that's what you're waiting for, is like that white Yeah, heat. I want to actually see it. Okay. Like, and sometimes, like, you can, like, get a little low and be like, yeah. okay, it's actually. Okay, cool. It's honestly, like, it's, it's hard for it to get too hot. That's, okay. maybe it's, it can get too and hot. And you have it on high, Yeah, right? okay. I have it on high. Best sound in the world, maybe? Best sound in the world. I know, I'm like, I love it, I love it. Okay. Cool. So are you doing a time per side, or are you kind of just eyeballing? I'm going to eyeball, but it would be like one or two minutes a side. Okay. So it's not going to be very long. Um, it's already so dry, and they're already mostly cooked. So yeah. this is really just going to finish cooking them and get that nice crust. Okay. So, awesome. Yeah. And then we'll make our pan sauce. There Look at that. that. Okay, cool. Let's see. Dude, I think me only using olive oil has been my pain with the pan. Well, it definitely. But that is I know. insanity. And it's been like a minute and a half. And look at that crust. Yeah, so one other thing is like if you go to lift it up and it's sticking at all, just let it go. It's not ready yet. And like that's a good way to so tell. So if it's sticking, don't turn it. If it's sticking, don't try to okay. break. Yeah, just let it keep cooking and it'll eventually come off. Gotcha. So. Are your kids, do they cook at all? Yeah, we they cook a little bit. Like we bought those little like plastic mm -hmm. knives or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. And they'll they'll cut cucumbers and they'll cut zucchini and squash mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff. We've attempted a garden the last mm -hmm. couple of years. That's so fun. Some things have been great. Yeah. Some things have been a tragedy. Oh yeah. Uh, but we got a good jillion cucumbers mm -hmm. uh, that w they would cut up and we'd pickle those and squash and zucchini. They yeah they love to kind of mm -hmm. hover on the kitchen and kind of help. So okay, so deserted okay. island, uh -huh. you only get one food. Uh -huh. What what are you cooking? Ooh, what am I For cooking? the rest of your life. Can I have a whole pig? A whole pig? <laughs> well, because then I, I, mean, can, yeah. then I sure. can cut it up and cook all the pieces. <laughs> I'm like, that sounds great. Maybe not a live pig. I don't really want to kill a pig. But, Correct. Um, oh, so you're searing the sides too. Yeah, so I'm searing the sides. I'm actually not doing a super, let's see. I'm going to do them. So I like to actually just like hold them together okay. and then you kind of get a little better control and do them like. So like when holidays know. come around, is it like, do you enjoy the fact that you're kind of the one that's looked at as like, so what are we eating for Thanksgiving? Well, so it's <laughs> funny. I mean, I actually would love to do that. My mom, though, loves cooking. Okay, so like good. when I go home, she's like, she's a chef. And, and you're I'm good to just chef. let people cook. And you're, you're good to like, like, do you hover? <laughs> oh, I definitely hover. I mean, not okay. with my mom. My mom, Mama Bowling's perfect and like yeah. I'll never hover around her. My mom, she's the cook during like holidays and things like that. But uh, if it's anyone else who's not my mom, I right. definitely hover and right. I usually take over. <laughs> um, okay, so this is our pan sauce. Okay. So I have all this fond in here and that is flavor. Yep. Um, so I'm gonna try to get that up and I have a poblano over here. So I don't know if with your gardening you guys have done any poblano chilies? We have not. Okay. We so need to though. This is a poblano chili. I chopped up in a shallot and um, they're gonna start getting off some of this, so some of the fond, but a few more, we'll add some tequila to also help get up the rest of it. Perfect. 
Um, but yeah, this is just going to add, they're like a little bit, they have the same vegetalness of a green bell pepper, but they've got a little more heat. Yeah, I like them heat, a yeah. lot better. I feel like they add a lot more flavor, but I also think it depends what you're cooking. For sure. All right, and I'm just going to add a little bit of cumin. Okay. And this will add just a little earthiness in here. And this is just going to go 30 seconds. And just get it, which will just help bloom it a little bit. It'll just add a little more flavor if you okay. cook it. Um, otherwise, you can get a little bit of that raw spice flavor going on. For sure. So, um, and then we're going to take these out of the pan. Oh, I'm sorry, I lost one on your shoe. Oh, you're good. You're Those good. are nice shoes, though. <laughs> these boots need to be broken in anyway. I like them. They're great. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so now is the fun part. So okay. I'm going to have you... I'm going to add the tequila. Okay. And then we're going to light it on fire. So oh, that's before, what, yeah, I that's what that's for. Yes. But before we do this, I want to give you some safety tips. Okay. So, well, um, a lot of them aren't applicable, but if you have sleeves, you pull them up. Great. Um, if you have long hair, you tie it up. Okay. We have a lid nearby so that if it starts to catch on fire and go aggressive, we can smother it. Perfect. Um, I think that's really about it. Oh, okay. the other thing is we're not pouring from the bottle. So we're pouring from this. Okay. If you pour from the actual bottle, it can like actually catch explode. the bottle on fire. Okay, and yeah, let's not so do that. So let's not do that. So yeah. We're going to put it in the hot pan. Oh, and then we're also going to remove it from the heat or turn off the heat okay. just so that this won't catch under. So now. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Woo! You good? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Um, All good. Girl, you yep. lose any arm here? Nope, none. <laughs> I'm like, I don't really have any tips for that. <laughs> okay, so now that that's out, we're going to add in some chicken broth. Okay. And a little bit of lime juice. So this okay. is uh, two teaspoons of lime juice. And I'm just going to cook this down a little bit just to reduce the flavor okay. um, and get it a little more concentrated. So this is cooked down. I'm going to finish this with a little more lime and a little more hit of tequila. Okay. Um, so this actually just gives you a little bit of that boozy yeah. flavor at the end because you're not cooking Perfect. it anymore. So we are using your tequila today. Yeah. Um, thank so, you for that, by the way. Yeah, yeah. I mean, thank you for, for, for bringing for sure, it along. For sure. I'm really excited to try it. So yeah, how did you get into tequila? Uh, long story short, um, my cousin and I started this together. We're third cousins, both from Valdosta, Georgia. We really wanted to try to create a tequila that was as smooth as humanly possible. Uh -huh. As far as like palate goes, like there's hints of floral in there, kind of an earthy tequila, peppery oh. but not too peppery, at uh -huh. least for the Blanco. Cool. So it should be awesome to cook. I've never cooked with it, so well, it should be awesome to cook with. One thing to say is like you do really want to cook with a tequila you're actually going to want to drink. It's really important. Well, there you go. So like I'm excited to try it too just because I feel like you get those flavor notes. I mean, for especially sure. that last little hit of tequila at the yeah. end, um, you get a nice little bit of it. Um, will you hand me that cilantro? Yep. Do you like cilantro? I should have asked that. I love it. Okay, yeah. great. <laughs> I was like, some if my people... wife was here, she would ask you for triple that amount of cilantro. Okay, she loves see, I it. love cilantro too. My boyfriend is one of those people who tastes like soap, so. Right. I'm, I'm like, sorry. It's one of my favorite herbs. Do you want to do the honors? I'm not a good drizzler. You tell me what to do. <laughs> That's okay. There's not that much strategy to it, but yeah, you can just like, here, I'll show you with mine. Okay. So, yeah, you just want to, you can tilt the pan and get like plenty of stuff in Perfect. there. Perfect. And then just do like a little like, swoop. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> okay. I gotcha. You go. How's that looking? It looks stunning. Okay. Okay. God, let's go. I know. Let's looks go. Looks so good. I'm psyched. Okay, good. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my gosh, dude. Mm. This is, this is incredible. It's perfectly seasoned. You did a great job with the seasoning. I can't get over how good the tequila coming through is. Right? Mm-hmm. I'm like, I think next time I'd add even a little bit more. Same. Mm -hmm. We could just sprinkle some on top. Yeah. I mean, that's not good. <laughs> I'm, I'm in. Okay, so before you eat too much mm -hmm. of it, I do want to make you some margaritas with this. Let's go, okay. Okay, so this is a nice quick recipe, but it's a real fun, um, I love this. It's a charred pineapple margarita. Oh my gosh. I know, I'm real psyched about it. So I feel like, you probably know this even more than I do, but uh, I feel like cocktails, it's all about balance. Like you For want sure. something that's like not too sweet, but right. also really balanced, but mm -hmm. has a little sweetness, but... I feel like especially if you're using good tequila, you want to sure. taste, taste it. taste it, for so, sure. So, we've got some charred pineapple that I charred up before and some just charred Straight up limes. on the grill? Just straight up on the grill. Okay. Um, so, it's over high heat, a little bit each side, just to get some nice char marks on there. Okay. Okay, so, I've got my blender. Um, so, this is a half a pineapple, and then I cut up two slices of it, and I'm going to add them in. Okay. And then I have a half cup of grilled, so again, I have lime juice already here. Right. And this is from grilled lime, so this just adds Yum. like a little bit of smokiness and okay. like actually a little bit of that same bitterness we were For talking sure. about earlier. And then a pinch, this is smoked sea salt. Okay. So you don't have to use smoked sea salt, but if you're but gonna we go. Should. Yeah, I'm we like, if you're should. gonna go, <laughs> if you're gonna go smoking grilled, why not? 
And this is sugar. So it's not a ton of My sugar. My gosh, I thought that was salt. I was like, wow. Wow, we're like going salty with this margarita. <laughs> no, 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 that's sugar. Um, so it's a third of a cup sugar. It's like enough to give you a little something, but I don't Any think. Any particular kind of sugar? Just granulated sugar. Okay. And I'm just going to blend it. Okay. <laughs> Yes. So I think we're nice and smooth. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, then you strain it. Yeah, you strain it. This, I mean, I think like if you didn't do this, it wouldn't be the end of the world. It's yeah. Like, can you grab me a spatula? Uh huh. Um, but it does get out some of like if there's any sort of pulp or anything. I feel like you get a nice smooth right. cocktail this way. So we've got our strained pineapple mixture. Okay. So do you want to measure out eight ounces of tequila? Eight ounces of tequila. And then tequila. I've got eight ounces of triple sec. Okay. So this will add a little sweetness. Just dump it in there. Yeah, just dump it in there. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna chill this, and I'm gonna pop out one that's already okay. ready and Sweet. chilled. Do you do salt rims on your margarita so glass? I'm more of a tahine rim oh, kind of person. My wife fun. loves salt. So. Okay. Well, so these I'm doing the. Smoke. But I will do it. This is, I'm doing the smoked salt. So I okay. take my lime and go around the rim of the glass. I'll let you do your own. Okay. And then just rub it through this smoked salt, so it picks up plenty of nice smoky sea salt. Okay. Okay, now we can. I'm have... so hyped for this. I'm psyched. I know. Well, I hope you like these. Let's see. And then we do a little pineapple garnish. Okay. Okay. And then. There you go. Yes. I know. I'm like. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, it smells smoky too. I know. Yeah, it's a smoked salt. That is un freaking believable. I'm so glad. I know. I love it because you actually like. How does taste it feel to be this good at just stuff? You know, thank yeah. you. No, I'm just How does it feel to be that good at music? Man. I know, it's so good. I feel like it's so balanced. That's incredible. You Golly. taste your tequila, yeah, which for is sure. great. Like you actually taste the booze, and like I feel like it's a booze you want to taste. So for sure. Um, but it's still it's like got a little sweetness, a little bit going on. It's fun. But not too sweet. But not too sweet. Not too sweet. That yeah. is fantastic. A plus. Okay. Well, thank you so much. A plus. Well, cheers, cheers. to you one more thank time. Thank you so much for cooking with me. Thank you very much. It's been a blast.